Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Meester Media tutorial, we are going to be talking about how to make people look like they can slash are actually fighting inside of Premiere Pro using some easy speed ramping. So, believe it or not, not all actors are willing to have an actual fight on set, which I know is disappointing, but you know, you got to deal with what you can deal with sometimes, whatever that means. So here, we'll take a look at this shot and you'll see what I mean So, you know, pretty, pretty obvious that not much is happening here. So what we do is we cheat and we do some speed ramping stuff. So the way I like to do this is I don't like to go in here and mess with this. I like to add cuts. You see, I've already done the shot here. Basically, the goal of this is to make it look like people are actually getting hit and not just like setting their guns against a weapon and actually getting hit in the face. So... We do that by manipulating time because we are time wizards and we can do whatever we want. That's our job in Premiere. So we, we're time wizards. That'd be a great t-shirt. Um, so anyway, that's rambly enough. What we're going to do is what we first do is decide, okay, I want to start speeding up. You know, I already know it's going to be around here, so I'll just quit pretending. And then I want, here's the action I want to cut on. So boom, gun hits thing. There's that. Then we speed this part up. So you can right click and go to speed and duration, or I have mine set up to the keyboard shortcut, control J. It's probably different for you because I think this is the old final cut shortcut and I just remapped it. So I'll put it to something easy like 130. It doesn't need to be a lot. So then boom, that speeds up some. And I'm going to take out probably two frames just because this is a really sort of glaring thing here. So take out two frames of that, and that just makes it really boom hit. So then we can scoot this back. And now if we look at the whole shot, you know, that's actually pretty neat. If you're really fancy, you can use a plugin like Real Spark Motion Blur, which is a great plugin, and you should definitely go get to go add some motion blur to this because that really helps sell your speeding up. But, you know, for now we're good for that. And since there are two hits in this shot, we'll go ahead and do our same sort of deal. So we'll start speeding up around here. You see I'm doing a little differently the second time. Boom, there's the hit. Take out, do two frames there. And control J, 130. You can play around with whatever speed values will work for you for this one. 130 works pretty well. Another cool thing to do is to do, like in these middle clips, to slow it down some. But this was shot at 24 frames and you know, that's all we got. So this is another also good reason doing stuff like this. This is the uh, colored shot from DaVinci Resolve. So you see I rendered it with frame handles. So each of these, like we double click on this one. You see this shot, most of these have 15 frames of frame handles, which is great because I'm doing online editing stuff for this. And so uh, the director is going to come by in a bit. Well, you know, and then do a sort of final pass on stuff. So I want to have that little playroom. Since I knew I was doing speed ramping on this one, it has uh, like 60 frames of stuff. So anyway, here is the shot. Hope you enjoyed this fun little tutorial. You know, it makes stuff actually look good, which is nice. This is a little different change of pace than I normally do because I normally do a bunch of, of music stuff. So it's fun to do narrative action things for a bit, get a stretcher your VFX muscles a little bit. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out MeesterMedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, we just updated the Carnival Power Grades pack, so it's got more Power Grades and released a little trailer for it, finally, after like a year of having that footage on my hard drive being, you know, meaning to make a trailer for it because it really helps to be able to see what you're buying whenever you're spending however much money on it. Also got the house let's pack, which is great. Got uh, bright lights and lens junk. I may or may not have used a little bit of lens junk in this, uh, this movie, obviously not this shot. Maybe I will. We'll think about that. Anyway, once again, I'm at the with the Mr. Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.